Hey guys. Hello. Uh, I am Melissa Murrow with Vintage Bee Design, and this is my friend Sue Wilson. And we are together a lot of the times when we go live on our own page. And I am, oh, there we are. I'm, I'm searching on her phone so that I can pull up comments. So I can pay attention to what you're saying. So say something. Say yeah. hi. And I also want to post this on our group so that our followers can. Oh, yeah, because we had people at the store this morning. They were a little, little excited. So yeah, come join us. So come see me... what we have. Um, as we pedal our wares. Uh, and I see, Veronica, you were just there. And I'm sorry I missed your live. I tried Veronica, to join I in. Missed you. But we were driving. She was driving. I, I was, was in the passenger seat. And I could not get a good connection. So it's tough that way when you're, when you're driving sometimes. Okay. All right. I have shared. So we are good to roll. I just want to be able to All make right. sure I can see the and, comments. And, and if any of you know Melissa, you, right. you might be as shocked as I am that she is pretty well prepared for today. I, I am, and She's very prepared. it is shocking. I have a list. We have a list. Things are, things things are, are numbered. numbered. Um, and if you go to our website, vintagebedesign.com, you can preview everything that we're going to show you today. Everything. It's all there. And also, I don't want to forget to tell you that everything on our website is 20% off today. Sale. And, and that includes everything that we're showing, all of our um, do-it-yourself products, and shipping for our website is $8. If you spend more than $50, it's free. So well, that's a deal right there. So we're trying to make it as easy as possible for things that uh, you wanna buy. Exactly. Right? So. so let's get, we've got we've got uh, about 15 products to go through. So hopefully. It's, it's a small pile. Melissa's been a little busy. Uh, I have been and I wanted to make sure that everything was actually um, a DIY product and not just you know, stuff that we wholesale or whatever. All right, we're gonna put the number one on the back of this one, just in case you need to remember it later. I'm just trying to see comments for whatever reason they're not. There they there are. There they are. There we found they you. Are. Okay. This is number one. Yeah, so this is number one, and um, I wanna let you see up close. It's got some French writing. This is an old silver plated tray that I have painted and distressed, and this is an IOD um, transfer. I had bought the uh, I'm trying to think what the name of the set is called the brocade set and I don't sell IOD we sell Prima but I did really like a lot of the things in the brocade. They do have nice sets. Um, and also if you watch me you know that I love to use a variety of products not just things that we sell. Um, I like to I like to mix and match and play around with all the different products. Equal opportunity crafter over here. That's right. I am like most of you I love to try everything so Anyway, so product number one, this is $10.95. And again, if you want to purchase anything, vintagebedesign.com. If that is a struggle for you, you can add the number, which is one, and sold. And as long as somebody didn't get to it and buy it online, then I will, you know, yeah. go first come, first serve in the comments. That seems fair. Okay. All so right. uh, moving on to number two. So one of the things, if you are a crafter and like us, I also got stuff ready for market. I don't even think this one's silver plate. I think this is solid silver. I don't think so. Uh, it's got silver marks on there. Well, then you might be getting a really good deal. Good deal. Um, anyway, uh, we're getting ready for market. So we had to batch paint. And um, that's why, so a lot of this is going to be in a similar theme because I needed to get a lot done in a very minimal amount of time. So this is number two and it is the B silver tray which, you know, our company's name is Vintage Bee Design, so you know I love vintage bees, and this one is fourteen ninety five. Now, is that one also an IOD transfer? This is that same brocade. Same set? Okay, same brocade. okay. Same. So, yeah. Um, I'm paying attention. Yeah, um, so it's the brocade unless I tell you otherwise, um, but I'm gonna show you some of the DIY products I used, which we we don't sell DI, or we don't sell IOD. We do sell DIY. Yes. <laughs> and we sell Prima, Fusion, Dixie Bell, um, Miss Mustard Seed, Jamie Ray, a lot a of good stuff. A little bit of everything. Okay, so we're going to skip some of the silver. We'll come back to more silver. That's yours. Hi, Robert. Those Hi, Melanie. Cute. Um, okay, so these I made in a YouTube video not too long ago. Um, we've already sold a couple of them. You can't see them. So, um, so you can see. And so if you like how these are made, these were made with Jamie Ray Vintage stencils and some chair parts. Um, I found a chair on the side of the road and 
disassembled it. I do that and disassembled it. And these are some of the spindles. I have a whole box of spindles I can't wait to do stuff with. But I did do a YouTube video. Um, you can find us on YouTube, Vintage Bee Design. And I show you the drop, um, the drop stencil effect where you can kind of see it has a, you can see it on there. Like, um, like a black background and then the, the white on the top. To yeah, a little shadow to it. So um, I really like these. These are um, $28.95 each and you get your choice. These are the only two that I have left. Yeah. She didn't put any kind of a hanger on there. So if you want to hang it, that's something you can add. Yeah, I just thought they'd be cute sitting like on a countertop or, you know, um, on a fireplace or a ledge or something. I dig you. I dig so, you. Okay. All right, put that back over there. Yep. That was number three, so we are on two. We are on two. Well, I see comments. I'm sorry. I mean, you talk while I... Um, just got a set of jars. Set of jars. Hey, everybody. Hi, Melanie, Melinda, Jessica, Pam. Um, so these are painted jars. They were painted previously. Yeah, yeah, they got a little extra a little color, color in, in the inside, but there's nothing painted inside, so you can add water. And these are, I think oh, these are actually colors. a combination of Prima and IOD. Um, Which is molds. possible, yeah. Yeah, because again, I mix and match all the time. I know that this B <laughs> and this Laurel is IOD, but I'm pretty sure this is Prima. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So we have, um, these are $14.95 each. They have been um, dark waxed. You can Wax see really and all good. those great details. These were actually painted in casement by Fusion and then dark waxed. And then there's color underneath whatever they were painted previously. We had a customer in the store yesterday. I thought she was going to buy these. And then we wouldn't have had them today. That's true. And that might have caused problems. I was already watching. making my list. Um, but they're $14.95 each. And just as a reminder, VintageBeeDesign.com. If you want to purchase anything, and everything is 20% off on our whole website. So not just these items. That's right. It's a little bit of everything. There's number five. Another one of your silvers. Yep, another one of my silvers. This is actually called a Sheridan. Definitely a plate. Um, yeah, and it, it, this is a, it's, it's marked Sheridan. So this is a Sheridan silver um, shell bowl. And it was very tarnished. And I guess I could have cleaned up the tarnish. Oh, yeah. But honestly, here in Florida... I don't know. We have a really hard time selling silver. Silver. silver I, I love tarnished silver, but I can't give it away. So, but when I paint it, it sells really well. It does look good though, because so, it's got the little peaks of, of silver coming through, and, and yeah, I like the, that. the 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 handle is very ornate. So I really like that a lot. Great place, you know, when you get your little entry table, you can throw your keys in there, your wallet in there, whatever you need. Yep. Hi, like Trish. This is $16.95. And again, shipping is only $8 on our website. If you spend $50 or more, then shipping is free. All right. I'm assuming that this is number six because the numbers fell off. Yes. So this is in more silver. Excuse me as I butcher what this says. Herbatisserie. Herbatisserie? Herbatisserie? Herb Herb yeah. Herbistory? I'm, Herb I'm guessing it has to do with herbs. Well, probably an herbologist. Yeah. So Herber I Herberarium? thought this fit so perfectly in this little shape. Um, and again, it's distressed. I've kept the backs on these, the underside silver, so you can see any markings. And actually, I like it when it's sitting there, kind of makes it two tone. That's true. You know, you still get the beauty of the old silver, but you get the the design and what have you that people want today. So um, this is also out of that IOD set that, um, like I said, I, there was a lot in there that I really liked. So even though we don't sell IOD, we sell Prima. Um, I did buy this set and I used don't a lot of it. Don't be afraid to mix and match. Don't be afraid. Don't, you know, I, I'm not a believer that one is necessarily better than another. Just different. They have different patterns. Different patterns, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, uh, variety is the spice of life, they say, That's right? That's right. And if you want to, if you can't stay and you want to sneak peek everything, if you go to vintagebeedesign.com and you click on live sale, you could actually see everything that I'll have for sale in this live. Or if you're afraid you miss something, you can see that. So this is the silver anniversary plate. This is the anniversary plate. She's got another... Yeah, transfer, transfer on there. This one, I'm gonna try to bring up a little bit closer. I don't know if you can see that you can still see all the swirls in there from the original silver, um, where it was very detailed. And this is um, 
when I got this, it actually had writing in here. It was um, etched where this had been an anniversary gift to somebody. <laughs> so it was like however many years in the middle. And I know like that's almost impossible to sell unless you happen to get somebody. Unless that's... your name is Vilma and Bob or something. You yeah, know. it's almost impossible to sell these. Um, so I painted it and then um, added a transfer thinking funny. that. It almost comes through looking gold. It does a little bit, but it is silver. You can see them. I like it. It's, it is definitely more of a champagne looking silver. It is. It's, it's, it's a pretty color. Yeah. So again, I left the bottom as it was. So I think it came out really pretty. This would be pretty in a plate holder or to get oh, one yeah. of those ones, plate holders where you can hang it on your wall. I think this is a Put really, really pretty back, one. Yeah. Um, and this one is $15, which I had to look here, even though even the though tag it's is right, right there. In your face. there. I was wondering, I had to check that to make sure that they matched because I didn't know. Yep, yep. So this is going to be a choice. Let's see, I see a comment here. Are these two are together? I, yeah, Melanie, um, I agree. If you're not using all the tools in your toolbox, you are doing a disservice. So I agree. Hi, Trish. Good to see you. Um, so this is your choice of, and these will be in my video tomorrow, actually, kind of what I did with these. Um, because I go, I usually, I can't say every weekend, because sometimes I do miss, because my staging been, schedule gets a little crazy. Been busy. But I try to have a video come out on YouTube every Sunday. Yeah. Try my best. And you usually do a good job of that. I, I Yeah, I usually try to. But um, this is your choice. And these are, you know, you can see the pedestals. I didn't measure yeah, them. Different sizes. Yeah. Um, I probably could get something to measure it with, but they are both probably take me 20 minutes to find They are both horses, you can see. Mm -hmm. These oh, are like the from the Prima um, Wild Soul transfer. So that is one that's available on the website. So, yep, this is available. Um, there's all the transfers. These are the smaller sets of transfers, which I love the smaller sets of transfers. I do a lot of jewelry boxes. And, um, and I find that the smaller transfers are perfect for the jewelry boxes. And oh, they're they just, absolutely fabulous for jewelry boxes. And they just had a new release. So if you follow along and you follow us on YouTube or Facebook, um, we can be found pretty much anywhere at Vintage Bee Design that um, I will show off the new transfers, the new release transfers when they come out. Cause I just ordered them last night. I feel like I should have got a manicure or something. <laughs> those okay. are nice. All right, I'm gonna put those down here. Yep, so then we're gonna go Number nine is that beautiful box. You know, I'm so worried about running out of time. We're like, where? We're whooping right through it. We're going to have to do something or we're going to have to do a song and dance. Song and dance would always be fun for somebody else. For somebody else. Huh? <laughs> so I was really worried that I wasn't going to have enough time. So I... So what if we got like, you know, we, we're five minutes into it? We're, we're 15 <laughs> minutes in and we've gone through nine. We're on number nine oh out of 15. Well... We well, are right we're going to slow down to a southern pace. Welcome, y'all. <laughs> um, we'll keep whipping through. Okay, so um, this is a little decorative box that I painted. This was actually, um, I did a video on this. Did you? We had this for display in our shop, and I decided to take it out of display and um, put it on the live because I wanted to have some varieties of right. things are good. we used to keep our um sandpaper and stuff in for fusion in here seriously yeah we did we kept our sponges and sandpaper and stuff in here as the display in our fusion cabinet wow well, so you know. but i did do a video on this this was like a kid's box and he had written all over it so if you look through our videos on youtube if you want to know how we did this you actually can see um mostly there are oh. like some moths and butterflies that are from other transfer sets, but mostly these have come from the Botanical Paradise collection. That's a good one. This that is one. this is probably my favorite one. Um, and again, because the sizes work so well on jewelry boxes, and I love jewelry boxes. Even, even the little ads like a little jewelry box. Yeah, a little, even the little, little picture spice box. A little jewelry box. So um, this is one of my absolute favorite transfer sets. And maybe it's also because it has that cute little bee right there. Well, you do like the little bees. Because I do. Bee I, I, um, the bee is not in there because I chose oh. to do moths and butterflies. Oh, oh, all right. Well, the milkweeds, that's probably perfect. Yeah. So, but, and I love nice. when I'm doing my boxes 
to mix up the words and the flowers and stuff. Um, and I've been known to like save just like the letter E we're, we're and figure out it. some way to work it in. As a matter of fact, one of the next boxes, actually it's the next box. By the way, that was $26.95. Oh, that's um, probably $26.95. And the next one is a little trinket box. Is oh, great. The AC is popping on now. Oh. So hopefully, if that gets loud, tell us and we'll turn it off. Yeah, I can definitely turn we're, it off. We're at the warehouse. Yeah, we're, we're in our messy little break room slash storage. Thank you, storage. Jessica. I appreciate it. Isn't that nice? So, yep, this is just a little tiny jewelry box slash trinket box. It Ooh, pops open and when you surprise, yeah, it's got a little oh. butterfly in there. I like things to give you a little a little happiness when you open them. This is 100% made with scraps. That, that's, yeah. Yeah, so. All them little tiny bits that get left behind. Yeah, so when you're cutting little behind, things off. So um, this was a little piece of, be, behind there is a little piece of fabric that, um, well, was basically leftovers. And then I put the little bird, and then these are just all the little the little pieces that you cut off and you don't know what to do with. I save them for all these little boxes. And I'm pretty sure that we have a tutorial on YouTube. If not this box, a similar box. Because I yeah. do ones like this all the time. Yeah, that's 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 one of those things when you're in the thrift shops. Gobble them up. Yep. They're um fun to do. cigar boxes, those kinds of things. Those are things I love. And we they pretty much sell. If we bring them to market, they sell all the time. Um, and so this piece gonna, is $14.95. I'm going to guess that if, if for whatever reason they don't sell today, they go to market? Yeah. Anything that doesn't sell today is going to be at our uh, market. We have a market on the 24th through the 26th. 24th, yeah. It's coming at, up. Yep. In Jacksonville at the, actually, I guess it's in Green Cove, right? Diamond. Yeah. No, no. Diamond D is not Green it's Cove. It's on the it's, west side there. It's on the west side of Jacksonville. You're right. It's Vintage Horse Market Country. Days. It's Vintage Market Days is the one in Green Cove. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so these will be at, hey Cheryl, these will Hi. be at um, Diamond D Ranch. We will have a lot of these kinds of things. We're trying to get them all done. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. So much to do. So, so much, much to, do. to do. And if you like doing events, we usually try to film the whole event as far as like set up, tear down, what our goals are, what we actually sell. Thank you. I did it different today. Um, it was funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, we try to show you like what it's like doing yeah. the booths so and things if you're, like that. So if you've ever thought about doing a, a local market, watch watch our videos about the markets. I mean, you can see how much fun and frustration we have with those, but it's mostly fun. And so these are upcycled little houses. These used to be from P. Graham Dunn. Yeah. There were little houses that we'd had around that had not sold. People don't want to buy little house looking houses. So yeah, Melissa, I don't know. Melissa got creative. These were like we had sold most of them, but we still had a few that had been sitting around for like two years. And so I decided to sand them down a little bit. I painted over them, just the fronts, the rest are, you know, just like how they were when they were manufactured. And then I used our Prima Ooh, stamps. You open up some stamps on this one. You see how organized I am? Look at you go. I know, right? Wow. So then I used the the stamps. These are such good stamps. I know you can't really see, but these are script. So there's three different script fonts. And I use these all the time. You'll see another product that I have that I use these on. You and do like using your stamps. I do like using my stamps. I don't think there's a craft product she doesn't like using. Mm, no, I have Very so much fun. Few. Very few. So um oh sharon hi good to see you yes you know that sewing machine you so showed on instagram today sharon was fabulous oh, i, I had that. to double take i had to, like i had to stop scrolling like i'd gone down and i had to go back up to it and actually take a good look at it it's really cute so these are also the small transfers by prima this is like garden meadow or something like that but we were sold out of them so i couldn't bring them to show you what they look like and when I was putting in my Prima order last night, they are sold out on Prima. Wow. It's a popular one. It's a very popular one. So um, hopefully we'll get some more in. But there are some other really good ones that are similar to this, including some great farm ones that I love. So. All right. We got oh, it. and I don't think I said these are $8.95 each. And it's your choice. And again, just to remind you, if you are going 
Um, and looking on our website, if you want to purchase anything, you can go to our website, vintagebedesign.com. And um, if you look on live sale, you can see everything that we're showing in this live sale. She took pictures of everything I, and put it online. I Everything is pictured Organized. online. It's amazing. You don't understand how astounding this is. It really is. And and I and I and I hashtagged it all with Looney Live hashtag so that so it would all go, go in one category and y'all could find it. That's fantastic. And then everything on our website, including the sale items, are twenty percent off from now until the nineteenth of the month. This is a heavy one. I'm gonna not completely show you, but see it's got a mirror in there yeah we don't want to show you that but it's it's, it's mirror. yeah you're gonna get a lovely picture of our ceiling right now and on the back so the back it does have feet and it does have velvet on the back but it also has hangers so if you wanted to hang this on the wall as an actual mirror um yeah. you can hang it either vertically or horizontally and i did that backwards it comes out vertically or horizontally I guess if you wanted to take it out and put a picture in there instead of looking at yourself, you could look at somebody else. You could. So, or you can take it out and clean it or whatever. So, um, yeah, so it's real cute. It's got like little scalloped edges on the bottom. Oh, look, oh, now look you at can that see. Mess. No. Oh, you can see Hi. the mess behind us. This is what happens in the break room of the staging warehouse. It's it's storage. It's it's like a storage everything, area. Everything everything becomes storage. Everything does. I don't it's know. amazing. Collect a lot of things. You store a lot of things. <laughs> I, if I took you and gave you a walk around, it would just be like, what? Whoa. You should see our market section right now. Because we just came back from shopping in, <laughs> uh, where did we go? Oh we went Georgia, Georgia Ohio, Ohio Kentucky, Kentucky, Tennessee. Yeah, we, stopped, we stopped at little shops or little warehouse places along mm -hmm. the way. And, and we wanted to have things that were different than... Um, our competitors have at market and so we picked up a lot of things that were more rustic yeah definitely I definitely rustic. have seen um, rustic being more of a trend in things that are selling I don't know have, do you guys agree have you seen more rustic? I've lost. what's next um, mirrored footed tray rustic crackle lamb crackle lamb I'm sorry I've lost you lost lost um, Cheryl it was a lot of fun all right crackle lamb crackle lamb look at that so this little beauty it is a it was a jrv cutout um it's jrv cute. is not doing the cutouts anymore uh, this is 26.95 i can Ooh. we do have on our website though that i can do this out of um three quarter inch or quarter inch wood and so we'll actually have to hand oh, cut it on a scroll saw or on this or on the glow forge is, is that your milk paint no it's not what is it? this is actually all fusion paint no way and then and then it's oh i didn't write down what transfer that one was did i I've seen did oh yes i did all over i did place. i did it sweet lamb sweet lamb is the transfer <laughs> and um i did a video on this lamb last week I think it was no the week before last mm -hmm. so this is either is a tutorial um like who so is that cute. pam the little decoupage houses are 8.95 each it almost looks like a sheepdog with a lamb on it <laughs> it's funny um so this is what these are all the little transfers that you get yeah, this guy has a little tongue hanging he's out. got his little tongue hanging out yeah so um this is another really popular one because i find that all the farmhouse stuff sells really well um when we go to market all right little guys next and the lamb is 26.95 number 14 oh my gosh we're just about done yeah oh. we're gonna have to make up some time here all right okay so um this is our sunflower window box and this comes off if you don't this is just tied on with a bow so if you don't want the sunflower and the wreath on there it is painted up cute that you could take it off and the doors actually do open if you don't have this right now i have them tied closed so oh, that's fun. um and this is great if you want to put plants in here you probably don't want this on here then but if you it comes with this but it is 22.99 and it is for that would be a cute little thing to put a little plastic tray and plants in there mm -hmm. so um this is a really cute little window box this is this is the prima sunflower transfer it is the i want to say it's sunflower fields i'm pretty sure it's sunflower fields it there's two sunflower ones one is a white sunflower 
And one is a yellow sunflower, so it's the one with the yellow sunflowers. I like the sunflowers. I thought farmhouse was out and cottage core was in. That oh. is true for but, most of the country. Yeah. Well, a portion of the country. So We're we slow. still do a lot of farmhouse because in our area, like since Cheryl, you're in our area, areas like Aberdeen and Nocatee and Durban, those parts of like St. John's, and some other areas that were built at the same time. And this may be true in other people's part of the country. So hopefully this isn't too regionalized. Those houses that were built about 10 to 15 years ago, when farmhouse wasn't quite the trend, at least in our market yet, it might've been like on with Joanna Gaines and the more rural Midwest or um, those parts of the country. For us, when that was being built, that wasn't the trend yet. And so now that those houses are 10 or 15 years old and new buyers are coming in or the current owners want to remodel, they're remodeling with farmhouse. And being in the South, we, we just like farmhouse. Yeah, I mean, I think that's true. And you know, our next market is at Diamond D Ranch. So farmhouse is always gonna work in the areas surrounding ranch country. It's it's gorgeous out there. It is. If you if you live in Jacksonville, you should totally go to that market and you should bring your kids because there's a petting zoo and there's like a hay ride where you get to go out and see buffalo roaming. They got they got the buffaloes and the cows and they got and ostriches and like all kinds of things. Petting little goat petting zoo area. They even have herds of deer. Yeah, it's crazy. It's amazing. They it's, love their animals. Out it's there. a big Fantastic. big ranch and it's really well organized. So um, anyway, this is $22.99. And again, vintagebedesign.com. Shipping is $8 unless you spend $50 or more. And then shipping is free. And everything on our website from now until I think it's the 19th. It's not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Um, so got a whole week is 20% off everything. And last but not least. Hello, Lisa. Yeah, and then we might have to start going to the stuff behind us. Just what stuff we find? Yeah, just like do a thrift haul live or something. We, we have a lot of thrift haul stuff behind us. <laughs> um, okay, and so this was another repurposed sign. This was a piece of art that actually used to be llamas. Llama, llama, llama. Oh, why would anybody do over a llama? But nobody wanted our llama, llama, llama. No llama, drama. llama, llama, ding dong. And nobody wanted our llama, 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 llama. So I decided to paint it and then I used that same script um, stamp, which I use all the time. And it's really nice because I love layering the flowers and the words. And for me, the script stamp You're is like one of my- the queen of layering. It, it's one of my favorites because it, um, like it doesn't use up all my transfers to do it's that. True. And it's a little bit, different like the texture is different than a transfer when you're stamping and so to me it's just a great layering and then the dragonfly is let me get to it over here oh, i'm gonna clap something collapse, and then my dragonfly is this which is spring dragonfly appropriate and dragon you flies. get all of those um transfers and this set is only 16 dollars so like that's a deal. So again, it's got the small ones in there for yeah. small boxes and things. Yeah, and some of these like milkweeds and stuff are probably on. You want to show them that box? Oh yeah. They're probably on this box too because definitely this got is, milkweeds over on that side. It's the stuff that like I use all the little leftovers of. Like I will use every little piece of everything. See the little milkweed folded over the top there. Look how she did that. <laughs> But that's nice. Yeah, and then, you know, like that's got a pop of color inside. Yes. I I always try to I always try to leave like when you open it, you should be as happy as when it's sitting there, I think. It's fit, fun and fit, you know, easy to do. I think so. Put a little extra on there. I think so. So, I feel like I should have grabbed more now. You yeah, know, I had so. See, originally I had 20 items on the We list. were nervous. We went fast. What, what then I was say? like and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get through 20. There's no way I'm gonna get through 20. So we still have, how much time do we have left? I don't know. Hello, watch, work. We <laughs> still have 30 minutes. Should we do this again? Run, run through, through it one all more again? time. Give you another snapshot for those who were not here. 
Um, how much is the butterfly box? This little guy here? Is or this, this one? Guy here. No, this, this one, guy one here. with the butterfly in it? Or this one with the or moths. Or this one with the moths. These are moths. These are very fancy little moths. So this trinket box is uh, $14.95, and this one is $26.95. $14.95, but Cheryl says yes again. Okay, so we'll go quickly through some of ours, right. and we might attack some of the thrift haul stuff behind us. Because that's going to be that's gonna be for tomorrow's video, actually. She's been thrifting without me, so I have no idea that this stuff was here. Melanie Mel wants to know some of the things that I see trending this year. Ooh, what is trending this year? So, um, like I said, question. I see Rustic being... Well, the Rusty's coming back. I think Rustic is gonna be big. Are we and so, talking industrial rustic or no. like antique rustic? I think I think more like country rustic. Country rustic, okay. So I, th I think it'll be a different iteration of what it was in the 80s and 90s. So farmhouse is getting aged. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I think, yeah, farmhouses. <laughs> but I think you're gonna see more um, rough, like carved edges and roughed up edges and and uh one of the things i see coming back is we've been obsessed with white wax for the last two years i love white wax and i think you're gonna see a lot more brown and black wax coming back so darker wax black wax is fun to work yeah with i think you're gonna see i think you're gonna see a lot more antiquing so it was that everything was pristine that like this is cottage core um see now i usually like to go with the glazes for the antiquing this is cottage core. This is farmhouse. This is going to be more of your rustic. Huh. Okay. Okay. So does that make sense to you? So I always try to think of cottage core as it's 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 more you it's not okay, so grandma chic is like another one. And um like grandma chic. Grandma chic <laughs> is when you are usually using your um like a lot of vintage finds that are mixed together with a few more new, eclectic with, with your new more stuff. eclectic with but it's almost all old but put together in a youthful way oh, okay okay um so a few new items but a little bit more contemporary use of grandma stuff okay of vintage finds i see, I see cheryl saying cutesy um and then cottage core is i am is is like spring 24 7 in my head lots of flowers that's all i know cottage core yeah. is all those pretty little pink flowers yep lots of spring colors um lots of pretty flowers uh almost almost like shabby chic but without the ruffles okay i can dig that yeah so without the ruffles and lace so cottage core is like shabby chic with no ruffles and lace okay okay does that make sense and then um farmhouse is mostly black and white and a little bit of a darker wood tone although the wood tones in farmhouse are going from dark brown to bleached wood so that 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 uh that grayer um like no, a barn wood no, or like a whiter wood like a bleached wood not not a no. wet, not weathered wood not which weathered. is gray okay um it's going to a bleached wood which is more like that you want to grab that basket oh let's go with the basket well i would but it's filled with uh stuff oh it's filled with stuff <laughs> um hang on this one is filled with cutlery so need some vintage uh, cutlery all silver cutlery this is literally full of silver vintage cutlery so um wait till we figure out what we're gonna do with that um so yeah not yellow so this is too yellow um but it's gonna be closer to this color then it's going to be to sue's now i'm going to check out all the silver um but it's going to be closer to this color than that that dark java gel right it's going to be a, not as yellow as maple but closer to the shade of maple okay okay, okay. i get that right so closer to a raw wood okay i like raw wood right um so farmhouse is going to lean that way so you're going to see less you know almost like the color of that frame to be honest why did I not see that? Oh. So more like the color of this frame. This is good. This is the color wood that farmhouse is going to. There we go. So much lighter. Wood. A much lighter wood. There we go. Um. Okay. okay. So what else? What do y'all want to see again? 
yeah, so we've got some really cute trays. And again, if you go to live sale at, at the top of vintagebedesign.com, you can see everything that we showed. I do love talking about trends. So if you have questions about trends and stuff like that, my eye, because, because of my staging company, my eye is always towards the new trends. I like the pattern on this silver with the little wheat and yeah. the little roses. That's a, good, that's a good pattern on there. Really pretty. Um, people, I know people ask all the time about like what different design genres are. Yeah. Well, we'd like to know. And guys, if you haven't, if you haven't checked it out yet, you should also, um, you should also check out, we are having a live event here in, in June, June 6th through 8th. So it's coming. Um, called Creative Con, and if you go to creativecon.live, then you um, you can check out all the speakers. We're going to have a bunch of speakers. It's a three-day event. It's only $295, oh, and that idea. includes breakfast and lunch during the, um, during the event. And we're going to have speakers like um, Julie Temple Porn from Julie's Design and Signs. We're going to have Dion Woods from the Turquoise Iris. We're going to have... Um, can, uh, Cammie Collins, who is Mom Travert. We're gonna have Chris Burton, who is a glimpse inside. He's got like a hundred and yeah, he's a he's, woodworker. He's, a woodworker. he's um, he does uh, he has over one hundred and sixty five thousand YouTube followers. So he's he's pretty important in the in the woodworking world. So it's not just for us ladies, but he's gonna be talking about um, how he actually was able to quit his full time job to take care of his family doing woodworking um we're gonna have um job. kim and garrett make it are gonna be here talking about their business and what yeah. they did um uh Danielle, danielle kaminsky um who has makers podcast is gonna be here talking about building your booths and how to have a successful booth um cheryl the um our youtube channel is youtube.com forward slash vintage b design um, but if you want to talk about this creative event that we're having, again, it's creative con, like creative convention, creative con dot live. It's all business oriented. Um, amazing, amazing speakers who I'm grateful are taking their time to spend yep. with us yep. and help you grow your business. If you have a creative business, you don't want to miss this event. Be a success and don't struggle like we have. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, Pretty oh, nice. Chris is, um, it is a glimpse inside. A and glimpse if you go inside. to creativecon.com or creativecon.live, then you can click on the, um, the speakers tab and all the speakers and all of their social media are there. So you can follow Chris and he actually has a little video Easy about the to... day he quit his job to become a professional woodworker. It's kind of moving, but I actually had that video linked on there as well. It is very good video. It's really inspiring when, you know, he has a whole family to take care of um, and his wife is has some health conditions. And so for him to be able to, you know, quit his job and um, and be able to be successful, and he's been successful at it for several years now. Yeah, he's been doing real good. So, you know, we're, we're done way early. We are way early today. More so, questions. More questions. Who has questions? We can entertain you. Not with song and dance. Yeah, Nobody wants we that. We want that. You tune out quickly. You know, usually you, you and I run long. Well, we usually do because we're crafting, and I'm a very slow crafter. Oh, that's true. We're not, not crafting. We're crafter. just showing you things today. I'm not a very good crafter. You want to see some of the thrift haul that we're gonna? That we're gonna? We got sitting back behind us. We'll see some of the things that she's going to to attempt to to make beautiful changes to. So. This is the kind of stuff I like to buy. This was actually 50% off, $2.99. It's just a stupid little <laughs> cardboard, probably, cardboard leatherette box. And um, this is the kind of stuff that I will paint and embellish with transfers like crazy. I will, this will probably be at market. Um, but you think you'll have it done in a couple weeks? Do you have time for that? I've seen I've seen what you plan on doing tonight when I go to hockey, so she might have time. Best intentions. 
If it's not at this first market, she might have it ready for the next. Yeah, that's probably true. It may not make it till vintage market days. So. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, this one looks like heavy and fun. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the heck? It's got little pieces and parts to it. So again, she went shopping without me. Mm -hmm. And while she's looking at that, brass. Brass is big. Vintage brass. Brass is coming back? Brass is so big right now. Wow. If you can find vintage brass, do you want to buy it? This was $3.99. Um, I'm just going to clean him up a bit. He's he's a bit on the dirty side. Uh, I will probably use a magic eraser and clean him up a bit. Um, I agree, Cheryl. Our Goodwills are terrible. They but I'm going to let bad. you know where I found out is a decent Goodwill, which is where I got most of this, is the one that is over off of... What's the name? What's the new that new area called? Over the racetrack road. Um... Oh, way out there by the... Uh, uh -huh. In St. John's. By... Yeah, over by Durban and that. I remember going out there after they first opened. All right, so she's got some sort of... Um, finial. Finial looking thing that is painted to look crackled. So I'm assuming she's going to paint it again. Probably. Oh, that's so heavy. But I'm sure these are what caught your eye. I do love pedestals. These will probably all be turned into very French country. Oh, little pedestals on that one. And how much did I pay for this whole set? Uh, that is on my sticker way down here on the ground. Uh, $6.99. Was that red sticker? And that was half off that day. So it was half that, off that day. Nice. So about three bucks, right? Three and a half bucks. And then a bigger pedestal. So she loves painting her pedestals. So. I do. These will probably go very, very French country. Um, yeah, I think that's that and the one in St. John's. Those are the, um, not the one in St. John's, but the one off of, um, San Jose. Those are the two best Goodwills in the area, in my opinion. Well, we all know my favorite place is, is on Beach Boulevard. So, Robert, in our market, every week there is a different color tag. And if it's that colored tag, it's, I shouldn't have said 50% off, it's 40% off. But then if I have my 10% coupon or my 10% stamp card, which I pretty much fill out a stamp card almost every time, then I get an extra 10% off. Down in I, price. Have, I have two um, filled out stamp cards right now. So this was $2.99. Um, that'll go very French country. Okay, so somebody asked, um, Lisa Thompson Dixon asked, um, what colors do I see trending right now in home decor and staging? I am happy to announce, let you be the first <laughs> to hear it, that gray is trending out. It is. It is. I've seen enough gray to last my lifetime. I like the grays. I love the cool feeling of the grays. I am I think so... my pictures pop really nicely with the grays, especially yes. when we add those nice pops of color in mm -hmm. those rooms. But, but gray... Every room in the house. Gray, gray. is going away. So what are we replacing gray with? Please don't say that, that builder yellow. It's not builder yellow. <laughs> it's builder beige. No. Builder beige is back, baby. Oh, come on. Really? It really is. I hope it's a nicer beige. Is it the same beige they had 20 years ago or whatever? Yeah. Oh, well, yay. So if your house is still beige. Hey. Hey, it's coming back. It's coming back. You waited long enough. No, Veronica says. No, really, it is. Who said gray all the way? I, 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 I was really excited when we started doing the grays. Because you, it, well, it, it was really different. It's a nice color contrast mm -hmm. with, with our staging. So I, I, I like the grays. I don't know. Remember I said you're going to see more of this? Well, what coordinates with this? Not it's grays. not gray. <laughs> right? So what are you going to see? You're going to see warm tones coming back big time. Yeah. It's going to get... So that's that's the color of the walls. So let's talk about what color would we put into those walls. Right. So with, with the events of the last couple of years that have kept most of us home, trying not like to say the word, home. trying not to say the word, um, with that, people have wanted to stay home and they have found that they want a warm, cozy environment. 
Snuggle up place. Snuggle up place. So Home you're going to see, um, so we're going to see two divergences, okay? We're going to see the, the two trends are going to, um, like they're going in completely opposite directions, I'll say. Okay. You're going to see one that's going to be all warm, deep, rich jewel tones, which is what we just did our house in. Yes. Um, more of the deep sapphires, the the emeralds, which we just bought those great emerald chairs for the beach house. Oh, that's true. That we um, that we just did an Airbnb IKEA's for. IKEA's got some really sweet chairs up here. So you're going to see a lot of the deep emerald um, jewel tones, right? And you will start seeing more of the mustard, amber colors that were popular in the 70s. Um, you're going to start seeing more of those coming Am back. Am I going to see avocado green to go with it? I don't think you're going to. Well, you might on the <laughs> other side. On the other side. So you're going to see. So that would be more like your topaz and things like that, right? Okay. So we're still keeping jewel tones over here. And then over here, you're going to see the group. So this is going to be more modern farmhouse, uh, modern French farmhouse with all the jewel tones. Okay. Okay. And this is a bit, like I said, it's going to be more modern-esque. You're going to see... Are we going to be seeing more of the velvets lot, like we just put in that house? Yeah, you're going to see a lot more... I like the velvets. A lot more velvets. You're going to see a lot more black trending. Okay. Um, and that's really going to go well with the modern farmhouse, the modern French farmhouse, okay? So that's one side of the trend. And then the other side of the trend is going to be the cottage core, which is all spring colors. Spring and flowers. So you really have the the bright autumnals not the not the I mean, you're going to see orange but it's going to be more orange like jewel tone than pumpkin okay okay um so you're going to see those colors you're going to see reds but it's going to be more ruby it's going to be not bright not farmhouse not fire engine not fire engine <laughs> but more ruby no that's the um ac behind us that you keep hearing cheryl i'm yeah, sorry yeah sorry about that um and then you're going to see on this side, you're going to see the cottage core, which is going to be super popular. And sage green is the color for cottage core. Cottage core and country, sage green is the color. I like sage green. Um, and then a variety of greens around that, but mostly sage green. Um, you're going to see dark wax creep in instead of white wax. Um, or a darker green with a white wax or a lighter green with a dark wax. Okay. So they'll kind of meet in the middle there. Um... Yep, Robert, orange and brass. That's right. The brass is the brass is mostly cottage core, but this like this is totally cottage core. It is brass, it is cutesy, it is um what are you making that face for? Um, you know, it's she's brass. just making that face. It's, it's brass. brass. It's back. Um you're going to see the aged brass, the darker brasses. Um, the more olivey brasses, I'll say. We probably have a lot or of the, away Or the mid-century brass in the modern farmhouse. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I have no idea. She has no idea if it makes sense. I take the pictures. I don't do the decorating. Do you, are you all feeling me on that? Thank you, Tammy. I think it is cute. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, trends in business is where I'm... Like, this is my fun hobby. I mean, it's a business, too, clearly. God knows I have enough money invested in it that it better be a business. Better be a business. Um, but I'm I'm like the big the big focus, and then I have people that actually accomplish things for me. You're the ideas and, and I'm the ideas. I'm the big thinker. I'm the one who like takes all of the details. Um, oh, you know what else we're gonna see a lot of? No, we're gonna see a lot of sunflowers. Well, sunflowers are definitely going to be popular. And that's because we're going back to a rustic well, look. That and world events. That Well, yes, that and world events. But, I mean, I wasn't even talking about the world events. No, nope, but that's definitely it certainly is. It certainly is going to in the short term. But even on a longer term basis, um, sunflowers. So the colors that you're seeing in here are more that modern farmhouse. Um so this is this is kind of it's got and it's got a little bit of rustic in it but you're definitely going to see that how long it takes to get to your area that's always questionable that's, that's always questionable because jacksonville's a huge city but we are so far behind it definitely takes us longer to get we're a little slow about getting getting everything updated to the modern look mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So, you know, starts in the big cities and works its way out. But watch, you're going to start seeing it. You'll start seeing it more. If you pay attention, you're going to start seeing those, especially the more deeper, richer emerald and um, sapphires and stuff like that. Watch in all the decor magazines. You're going to see light and bright springtime and you're going to see the more modern farmhouse which is going to lean a little bit more it's not going to be it's not going to be completely mid-century but you're going to see mid-century lines in in a lot more so sleek lines not completely but more sleek lines okay like less in cottage core more detail in modern farmhouse less cleaner okay. cleaner darker richer deeper that kind of thing very good I don't think I've got anything else for you guys. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry that I'm early, but we've we've stretched this out a bit. I mean, well, what else do we need to know? Look, yeah. here's something she's working on. So just as a recap, um, if you, this is your business, then please check out creativecon.live. That is an event that we are having. Amazing, amazing speakers. You will not, you'll be sad that you missed out if, if you have not um, you looked at morning? that. Then also check out... Um, our website, vintagebedesign.com. We're now through, I think it's the 19th. Then please be sure to check us out there. Everything, including the items we had here today, everything is 20% off, free shipping over $50, $8 shipping if it's under. Um, the event is going to be here in Jacksonville, um, downtown Jacksonville, lots of things to do. Um, and it's a tax write-off. Hello, come to Florida. Education. Come to Florida and have a tax write-off. Go to Disney World afterwards. It's totally fine. Um, Go to Universal afterwards. It's less that's true. I, we had season passes Universal way better. Um, and uh, anything else? I don't I even appreciate know. you guys joining us. Follow us everywhere at Vintage B Design, um, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, wherever. We're everywhere. All right. Bye, guys. You have a great weekend, everybody. Yes, I'll reach. I'm closer, I think. Whoa. Bye.